Despite the sharp sell off in equity markets in February, inflows in equity mutual funds have actually touched an 11 month high. Let's do a three point analysis of the data released by the Association of Mutual Funds in India to understand what has contributed to the growth of mutual funds and what is the outlook going forward. One key highlights of the AMFI data. Well, neither the fears of the outbreak of COVID-19 nor the fast slowing economy has deterred the investors' enthusiasm for equity as an asset class. Gold ETFs or the exchange-traded funds have actually seen an inflow of 1,400 crore rupees in February, perhaps the highest in recent years as the preference for safe haven increased due to the uncertain times. Now, the assets under management of the industry also stood at 27.22 lakh crore rupees at the end of February 2020, moderating about 2% month on month. Two, equity inflows spiked across all categories. Well, equity funds saw a significant improvement in the net inflows in February, rising 42% over January flows. Now, inflows in equity more than doubled compared to the same period last year as well. February 2019 had seen an inflow of uh, much to the lower side of 5,100 crore rupees. Now, within the equity universe, all the categories, including large, mid and small cap schemes, also saw sizable inflows. Now, net inflows in equity linked savings schemes was lowered at about 840 crore rupees as compared to over 1100 crore rupees in February 2019. It will be interesting to see whether the impact of new tax regime unveiled in the recent budget on the popularity of ELSS going forward. Having said that, the resilience of the domestic equity flows will be put to test in March as market correction has further deepened after Yes Bank's moratorium, cases of our COVID 19, suspects outside of China accelerating, and also the collapse of oil prices and the consequent route in global equities. The moot question is, will the domestic equity flow sustain? Well, there is no clear answer to this, but it is heartening to see that the underlying trends in the mutual fund industry are very strong as of now. 3. SIP a game changer for the mutual fund industry. Well, the stability inflows through the systematic investment plans despite frequent bouts of volatility in the equity markets has been the key success story of mutual funds. SIPs account for about a good chunk of the monthly inflows and has remained steady at about 8500 crore rupees in February. Now, the contribution of SIPs to the industry's overall AUM, that is equity plus debt assets, has increased from around 8% back in August 2016 to 11% in February 2020. Now, individual investors hold a higher share of MF assets at around 53% of the total AUM as of January end, according to the AMFI data. Now, most importantly, progressive reforms and regulations by SEBI, such as introduction of direct plans, removal of the entry load, banning of upfront commissions, and also capping of the fees charged by the mutual funds to investors, and standardization of mutual fund schemes and disclosures have been the key enablers of strong growth.